Hey guys, uh, I've got my mom here. I know I've been promising this video for a while. I wanted to do an AMA. I never got around to doing it. So we're finally here. We're going to do it. We have a bunch of questions that we ask you guys. Majority of them are quite stupid and I'm not going to ask them, but there are quite a few that are okay and that's appropriate to ask my mother. So she's here and yeah. Yeah. Can you see the camera? Where are you? I can't do it. Uh, who is your favorite son? Oh, both of them are my favorite that's, son. That's not an answer. Why? Like you, if you had to choose between killing one or the other. Oh, I'm not going to kill If you don't enough. kill one, both of them die. If you had to... Oh. <laughs> that's not a good question. <laughs> okay. The, the next question is from Nikki J. Who is the same question, who is your favorite son? Why are... All these people ask the same question. The next question is from Fernando Hansi, whose question is, who is her favorite son? Pass. What's the best toothpaste and what are your thoughts on Sensodyne? I can't answer, but he's the best toothpaste because toothpaste have to brush your teeth. That's all I can tell. Those are commercial questions. <laughs> This video is brought to you by Unilever. Ooh! Boru Boru. Boru. Yes. It's obviously not brought to you by Unilever, but it should be. If anyone from Unilever is watching, please pay. Sensodyne is not Unilever, it's GSK. I don't know. There are so many questions about who your favorite child is. I'm going to ignore that because now we're like, like 30 questions about who your favorite child is. And I think she's made it very clear that it's me. Um, oh no, I didn't say like that. No, no, it's me. We've going, we are going to come to an understanding that it's me. Uh, what has been your worst experience as a dentist? Nanda, young. That's Nanda Bo. Ayo! Asthenitra Pena. Hari. And I had to do uh, bilateral, two impactions on one of the doctors and that uh, impaction was actually very associated with the nerve damage. So beforehand we have explained and said that if we do it and if the nerve damage that you can get anesthesia of the lip. So I explained the patient and I did it and the following day when I went there to see and she said, Oh doctor, oh I can't feel my lips. It is like cardboard. I was shocked. Because though I explained it to the patient and knew that this is the uh, problem that they can get post operatively, I didn't believe. That was her explanation and I was shocked at that time. Even though I explained it to the patient, I also didn't realize the gravity of it. But uh, after one week he was okay. But that always into my mind and I was always before I do surgery I always keep that in mind even now after about 10-15 years that still rings in my ears the yeah. only reason I know anything about like oral maxillofacial surgery is that I do all of my mum's presentations <laughs> because of that I know how I could probably do a paratidectomy right now <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't have and done answers. for these uh, presentations without you those days. Not now. Um, you don't have time. I for still this. have. Time. <laughs> I occasionally Sometimes. still do presentations. Sometimes you do it uh, by closing your eyes. <laughs> that can I, I can. Do no, I, so I'm afraid of blood. I and half of my mom's presentations involve a very large amount of graphic content. I will put some pictures so you guys <laughs> understand what we are talking about. This is actual facial surgery where people rip stuff out. There's pus oozing all over. It's not pretty. How do you handle relatives questioning you about your son not being a doctor? Hmm. At the very early stages, actually, we were really upset about it. Actually. Because I wanted him to be a doctor, to be honest. I don't know. I didn't ask this question. I'm not this nice. Uh, tell me again. Okay. Question number, like it's a two part question. The first part is, when did you know that Barnaco was smart enough to take control of his own life and become quote unquote successful? And the next part is, how does it feel like to be a woman who is not only successful in her own line of work, but also as a woman? As a woman? Like as a mother. Okay. But uh, first one, 
I can't tell exactly, but uh, but very you recently, <laughs> very recently. You thought it was a bad idea. Uh, I thought it was a bad idea, but anyway, now we know that he is going. It can still it. be a very bad idea. Of course, anybody it could be even be a doctor could be like that. Which son has been the most annoying to deal with, and why? Ban. <laughs> That's that I can answer definitely. Ah, that is unfair. Cut, cut. Why well, he's always asking questions? He doesn't do what we want him to do. That is okay, but he always change. What do you mean? You tell today you. Is that something. because I didn't go to like art class? No, not art class. And always coming behind no. me. No, it's good to know that you think I'm annoying. I said those days. Uh, the next question is: Does Banub snow? What? Like snow? Go to another. Ah no. Really? Uh, I didn't see. So far, I haven't seen. Are you? Let's not answer that question. That's a good one. Let's leave it at that. Nuha says, "Much love from the Maldives." Did you think about having Banuka? Was I planned, or was I an accident? What? Like, was my birth planned? Yes, yes, both, both of them, actually. Next question: Who are you more proud of, me or my brother? Oh, the same question. No, that it? was not. Who's better? Who are you more proud of? I am proud of both of them. That actually. is a bad answer. Completely, yeah. It's me. It is. I am the better <laughs> child. Two different ways, so but I am proud of both of you. This question comes from On Card ninety three. I think he's from India. Uh, the question is. Don't ask for permission. Ask for forgiveness. Do you agree with this point? I have been doing it with you and your brother also. The next question comes from Manishi. He is getting old. Get him married, auntie. <laughs> Let him decide about that. That's not happening. Never know. Why did you name your son Banuka instead of Sirisena? <laughs> That's my father because it's. Uh, Did that name me? Yes, yes. Okay. That us. Uh, there were so many names, so we selected. Maruka is related to the history. Yeah. Yes, we have three or four children. That is enough for me. Pass the ham. As a mother, were you disappointed when your son didn't get through the A-levels? Yes. You knew that, though. No, I didn't know. You thought I was studying every day. I thought you were studying, but at the same time you were not studying, just doing all these gaming things. I didn't know at that time. Later on, but did you thought, genuinely think I would do well on my A-levels? Yes, I thought so. Honestly, at all? Yeah, there was no other reasons. <sighs> okay, here's another good question: How do you take proper care of your teeth? Use this as a public service announcement to get people to brush their teeth. I uh, take proper care of teeth. Yes. First thing is that. Uh, I mean, you should know this. No, no, no. Proper care of teeth, or what are the things that you have to do to keep teeth in If you don't condition. know this, I'll, everyone I'll, else I'll, is I'll, finished. I'll tell. First thing is that you have to cut down your sugar intake. Okay. Sugar in between meals, sugar especially in between meals, you have to stop or reduce. The second thing, you have to brush at least two times a day. With the fluoridated toothpaste in the morning after eating and before you go to bed. So you brush your teeth three times a day? Two, two, at least two times. I barely brush it two times a week. Yeah. And then acidic drinks. You have to keep your mouth in a sort of a, a pH. So Red Bull and Coca Cola is very healthy for you. Gosh, I can't tell this. Uh, A brand name. Brand It's, names. It goes against codes of ethics. Yeah, but, but good thing I have no ethics. Acidic things you can't. Tell us Banuka's most embarrassing story. One thing, once we went on a trip, right? To Nuwari. Okay. Ah, po. <laughs> I remember this. We went on a trip, and we had to have chika, right? So the cook 
had baked chicken without skin. He had removed all the skin, and Banuka didn't eat it because the skin mm. was not there. So he was crying, but he was poor. But he was crying, and he didn't. He refused eating dinner because the chicken is without skin. That is how he was. That was his favorite for those days. No wonder With skin I was on. fat, ne? Yeah, you were really fat, <laughs> and you finished the whole half, more than half of the chicken dish. When you come, how old was I? Ah, small, but not small. <laughs> About ten, twelve years. Dogs or cats? Dog. Why do you allow your son to drink so much Red Bull? I don't. He is drinking Red Bull. When we will go out or go shopping, he always asks me to bring Red Bull. So I can't refuse him also. So I bring one or two. Most parents complain about raising children who play video games. What do you have to say about that? Oh, this is a difficult question to ask. There's a lot of video game stuff back then. I know because I actually I didn't like that in the very early stages. So you like I it now? No, I don't like it now. But by playing it, he must have got something and he's. Successful now, do and he you, always associated with that video. Do games. you promote video games? No, I don't. I don't. Sorry, <laughs> I can't. Like, what do you do on a day, normal day? Oh, it's a full of work. I start around five thirty, so then the two small small things in the home. Then I go to work. There I teach and do surgeries, and that is my professional life. So then, in the evening. We do our private practice with again patients. I go after that. I have to read for the next day surgery, and I have to look after my family, two children, and husband also. So anyway, I have to get time for these things. So I go to sleep around eleven, twelve. It's like almost every day except Wednesday, It's Sunday, like and PH. Oh, even today I can't go to sleep well. because of this. <laughs> What changes would you like to see in the medical industry? Old methods, the technology take uh, and uh, over the medicine, but keeping all the people should be very honest and empathy. And when they treat patients, they have to understand them. I like to have a society like that. They are professional as well as. Human. Please forgive me for all the times I called on the landline back when you were a kid. <laughs> yes, yes. I can't remember the name, but I think there were people always asking about Barnaby. Barnaby. Barn. So we used to play Pokemon like yeah. a lot, and if we had any tournaments coming up or we were battling competitively, we'd used to be on the phone for hours, actually just strategizing how we were going to battle. And like, if you guys know about double team matchups, it was a huge thing back then. So yeah. Is it okay? This is something that I want to know. Is it a must to get your wisdom tooth removed? No, it is not. But if it gives you problems, you have to get it out. Those days it was. Okay. Long time ago, the policy was to remove all the wisdom tooth which are impacted. But it is changed now. We do it when there is a problem with associated with the wisdom tooth. Okay. But most of the time it is. Tips on surviving medical school. Surviving medical school, you can survive. Actually, if you study well, study well, and okay, so you're screwed. This person does not want his name to be shown. Okay. Uh, why are consultants so rude to med students? I don't think so. Actually, consultants love their students. It is not consultants; they are teachers, and actually, they love them. So by loving, sometimes they may ask them to study and to be. They want you to be disciplined because that is a very important thing in the professional. Doc, be the doctor. So likewise, but I don't think they are rude. Shahen asks, please tell my mother to let me drop out of school. Oh my God! I would. <laughs> I don't think anybody should to drop out. No, but like. You know, seriousness. Please don't drop out of school. It's a terrible idea. Yeah. But I don't recommend it. Me I too. just did it. I don't think anybody 
Does your son have a girlfriend? Which one? One is one married. One is married, so okay. obviously not that one. If he has a girlfriend, then there's a bigger problem. A girlfriend? Maybe girlfriends, oh? How do you show Kamba? Hey? Girlfriends or a girlfriend? I don't think so. <laughs> because you know why? If so, he would have told me. I wouldn't have told you. Why? I have I have never told you. Yeah. I don't means... think I would tell you that. So I don't think that you have a girlfriend. Okay. What is this? Weird obsession your son has with bread. I don't know, but it is good that if you don't eat bread, this is carbohydrate. Therefore, it is. No, I eat a lot of bread. Do you? Not really, but I want to eat a lot of bread. No, that was God. Ah, God. No, no, no. Dad God, was God, God. How do I know your hometown and you don't? <laughs> My birthplace is God. So we. I call it Kalpana because that is where we lived and we went to school and everything. If you had to tell these people that are watching this video something from whatever you've learned throughout the last 60 years, what would it be? Uh, 60 years? I don't know, you're 60 years old now. Oh, today only I realized it. <laughs> Your birth is coming. No, it's not coming up, it's over. <laughs> Wait, I wished you. It's okay. I did. I did. I did. You can love people, then they will love you. That is what the basically. Uh, that is how I do. I always love people, so they love me also. So do the same to everybody. That's it. We're done. That Yay! Me? Hmm. Ibarai. Oh, Ibarai. Hari ni. Hari hari. Ibarai. Oh, fella. ಅಯ್ಯೋ ಅಥವಾ ಇವರು ಕೇಳ